My name is Neil Harbison and I'm one of the founders of the Cyborg Foundation. And I'm a cyborg. To us, a cyborg is a feeling. It's feeling that you're not using technology, that you're not wearing technology. It's feeling that you are technology. Neil Harbison was born completely colorblind. And while Neil still can't see color, a device called the iBorg allows him to hear and sense colors. It picks up the dominant color in front of me and then it transposes this frequency of light into the frequency of sound. So it's related to the frequency of light. It's not an arbitrary relation. This light frequency has a specific note, which is the note that I hear, but a few octaves lower so that it's in the audible range. Neil has been able to hear color through bone conduction since 2004, when he convinced a doctor to anonymously perform a drastic surgery. My head was drilled four times so that I could have the antenna integrated, so it goes inside my skull, so I, I actually feel cyborg. I feel that even if I touch the antenna, I feel it's like a part of my body. It really feels like a new body part. There's no way of, of removing it, so it's, it's just uh, like other animals. They have antennas. I decided that I would have an antenna as well. Neil says the iBorg has expanded his senses beyond normal human capability. I decided to include infrared colors and ultraviolets, which are invisible to the human eye, but that they can be perceived through, through our third eyes. And then uh, once this became normal, I didn't see why I should only perceive the colors that I have in front of me. So I decided to have Bluetooth so I could receive colors from other places of the planet. Neil isn't the only cyborg on this planet. Professor Kevin Warwick implanted a chip in his arm in 1998. A radio frequency identification device. Entrepreneur Emil Grafstra, with RFID chips in each of his hands, can unlock his car or computer with a single wave. His company, Dangerous Things, sells do-it-yourself body hacking kits. Some gamers are in on the action too, using brain stimulators to gain superhuman focus. Bionics researcher Michael McAlpine sees this type of technology advancing into the mainstream. You know, up till now, I think most people have thought of bionics as people who have impaired capabilities like lost sight, giving them the ability to repair those capabilities. But going forward, I think there is the possibility if you can do that, then you can also take that to the next step and actually give a normal human advanced capabilities that biology never gave them and perhaps let them do what maybe only certain animals can do or maybe let them do what no one can do. Neil Harbison's experience shows how quickly technology is transforming culture. Social reaction has changed over the years. So in 2004, people thought it was a light. Later, people started to think it was a microphone. 2006, I think they thought it was for chatting. Then 2009, people started to think it was a hands-free phone. So it, they thought it was a new telephone. Now people think it's something to do with Google Glass. So it's changed over the years. Now people think that I'm actually filming them, which is uh, creates uncomfortable situations. So I'm thinking of changing the image and I might just move the sensor down so that it creates less confrontation with people that might think that I'm actually filming them. But I'm sure that in two, three years, people will think it's something else. It keeps changing. Although some people still don't know how to react to the antenna, times are changing. I think we are now entering the age of transition into cyber, so we'll see more wearable technology becoming accepted and normalized. Once wearing technology becomes something normal, we'll start seeing the transition into implanting the technology. People will start accepting this more. So in the 20s, the late 20s, we'll see more and more projects with new body parts and new senses. And I believe that in the 40s it will be normal to have technology implanted, so it will be normal to merge humans and technology and to unite cybernetics and organisms. I'm sure it will be normal to meet someone and ask what are your extra senses and what's your new body part. Mm -hmm.